Hi, and welcome to 50 Days of Keynote, 50 Things You Can Create for the Classroom. Brought to you today by me, Alicia Bankhofa. Today is day 29. I'm going to show you how to use Keynote to create an alphabet hunt. What is that, you may ask? Well, it's an activity where children, students can master the basics of language, learn vocabulary, and see words in context. It can be used in many subjects. And of course, here, because it's a, they're using their mobile device, children get up, they observe their environment, and they explore their surroundings. Why use Keynote for this activity? Well, it's really easy to create a personalized alphabet hunt and they can add video or audio as they desire or animations and you can easily share it with others in class or with the teacher. So what does this look like? The idea is to prepare a template beforehand so you can scaffold the work of the students. So I create a slide per letter and explain to them before I share out the, the template. As you can see, each slide has a media placeholder, a place for the letter, and a place to add text. So the object of the exercise is that they have to stream out, move about in the school building or in the classroom, and try to photograph an item beginning with the letter. And they have to make sure that they also label the item they photographed or videotaped correctly. You can make this as a game. You can give, you can give them, for example, 20 minutes, and then they have to come back after these 20 minutes, and the person who has the most letters or most pictures correctly labeled is the winner. So you, here you can see a few examples of how I've done this in the classroom or in seminars. It's a really, really popular activity because they just stream out and they just go crazy and look for different examples within the school classroom or within the, within the school building. There are, of course, lots of variations you can use. You can give, for example, each student just one letter. That's quite a challenge. Or you can create a challenge based on colors or shapes or textures. You can, of course, use it for different languages, and you can also have them just look for letters or for words. Special thanks goes to Ingolstein for creating the template that I use very often in my teaching. And there you have it. 50 days of Keynote. All videos are in Padlet and all Keynote files are online. See you tomorrow.